That was Chris with a truly illuminating report. Back at British Lithium's Cornwall Lab, I met with their CEO, the man who discovered that first rock, to find out how Cornwall might be the answer to our battery problems. Now, it used to be that all lithium came from brines, created by water being pumped up from underground and then left to dry in massive lakes. The lithium could then be extracted from the salt left behind. But all that is changing. As the lithium industry is growing, those brine lakes can't keep up. They take 10, 20 years of evaporating to get going. So the world has switched over to hard rock, with Western Australia leading the charge. And now we're coming in with unconventional hard rocks, like we see with Tesla in Nevada, Bacanora in Mexico, Czech Republic, and here in Cornwall with this lithium microgranite. So the first stage of exploration is we need to drill some diamond holes to see what's in the ground, not just the surface the deep underground. So these holes are about 200 to 300 metres each. A diamond rig produces drill core, which looks like this, and it does two things. We can crush it down and get an analytical assay on the lithium content, but also it's useful for logging it. What's the difference between the lithium that you get here in Cornwall and the lithium that there is in Australia? The lithium in Australia is about twice the grade to what we see here, but in Australia the seams are about three to six metres thick. Well, here we get 120 metres of continuous mineralisation. Wow, so each of these cores was joined on top of each other yep. to the depth of 100 metres. Each box is about metres. three metres. So we're going down the hole this way. And as you can see, it's just continuous mineralisation all the way down the hole. So to work out if this rock contains enough lithium worth mining, they need to send the rocks off for analysis. And before that, their geologist needs to get the mica out. So this is a lithium mica pegmatite, actually, with very coarse lithium mica flakes in it. Actually, with sieving it, we should get some of these mica flakes to separate. This is a small operation at the moment because they're still trying to find the best place to put the mine by seeing which drill holes contain the most lithium. This is prospecting at the very edge, the modern day equivalent of prospectors at the American frontier, hacking at rocks with pickaxes and panning for gold in rivers. You can see the quite coarse um, mica crystals in there still. And if you've got mica, is there definitely lithium in there or is it possible no. that you can get mica without lithium? Mica is a very common mineral, so um, it's very important to be able to recognise which ones have lithium in and which ones don't. So the crushed minerals from each core are bagged separately and sent off to the lab. The results will show which location yielded the most lithium, at which point they know that they've struck gold. Well, lithium. So the data that we've got at the moment is a good indication that we're on the right track. What point will you say we'll, we'll put the mine here? Do you think it'll be in the next year or the next five years? or? I think it will be in the next one or two years. Yeah. So the lithium from Cornwall may one day end up in the batteries inside electric cars.